Hey folks, so we've got a 2004 Mercedes 240C and uh, this car had 173,000 kilometers on it and uh, generally works pretty well uh, but it had a very uh, rough shift from not from low to two but from two to three it was very very harsh uh, even when you were at high throttle like if you really had the throttle down really didn't cause that much of a problem you didn't really feel it because the car already had just you know the car was the car was already pushing you hard into the seat and if you were barely touching the throttle at all um, you didn't notice it either because the engine wasn't generating enough power to uh, to sit you back in the seat when it does that harsh shift into third but if you were kind of on the gas a little bit the way you would be if you were you know speeding up I don't know 25% throttle let's say uh, if you were accelerating at a at a gentle rate that's when you would f feel it the most it would be quite un unpleasant for the passengers so uh, this car is not mine I took it for a drive felt confident that it was a shifting problem I was asked well could it be a shaft out of balance or I don't know brake rotors warped or any of that and the problem was that I said no because uh, it's only from that two to three shift that you feel it so if it was a shaft that was out of balance or a u-joint that was loose or something like that you could feel it you would be able to feel it in other shifts as well and the lower the shift the more torque would be um, would be you know f applied at that time of shift so shifting from low to two would be even worse you'd think anyway uh, I, I said look the only thing I can do is recommend you go and get the transmission flushed so it was taken to a shop and they hooked it up I don't know exactly the details but they said they flushed the transmission and the owner reported that uh, it worked better uh, after that but not fixed and upon further investigation there were um, there were bad spark plugs and uh, it, this is a two plug per cylinder engine six cylinder engine so it has 12 plugs and four of the 12 were faulty and not firing and so I've just changed all the plugs and uh, confirmed by unplugging each coil one at a time that it was um, it was in fact you know each coil was contributing to power for the engine so that's good and uh, the engine starts up beautifully now idles perfectly and I'm taking it out for a drive and I'm not expecting any harsh shifting from two to three uh, you may have heard a click there that's just the door locks clicking so I'm in low there's two that was very gentle and there's three and it couldn't be more gentle than that it was absolutely perfect so I'm gonna stop and do it again okay, so now what I'm gonna do is unplug two of the coils and uh, you know the surprising thing that that just really threw me for a loop is that with two coils disconnected the engine still sounds good it uh, when you immediately disconnect the coils it's rough for a boat I don't know maybe three or four seconds and then it smooths right out in order to actually have this engine so that it doesn't sound good when you're when you're idling it and coils are disconnected I had to take out three of the six coils so um, I think that might have been you know part of the reason why this was just gone so long not being diagnosed because the engine seemed to run so well Okay, so here we are under the hood. It's idling, as you can hear. Uh, very smooth, no no uh, noticeable shaking of the engine, and the idle sounds smooth. Originally, it was the plugs, uh, so I'm looking at the driver's side here. It was the plugs for these two coils that were faulty. And so when I would unplug the, uh, the feed to the coil, there would be no effect to the engine idling sound. I unplugged this one and this one, no effect. As soon as I got to this one, there was effect. So I knew that the third one was working. However, when I went in the reverse order, plugged them all back in, and then unplugged this one, I immediately could hear a little bit of something. So I'm just going to demonstrate to you how good this sounds when you start taking plugs away. So could you initially hear that? The RPMs dropped just for two seconds and then came back. There it is back in. I mean, it's remarkable how well it does on now four cylinders. I'm sorry, five cylinders. There's four cylinders out of six running, and it still sounds great to me. 
only when you take half of the cylinders away does it really struggle and then it still recovers. And with two of the six coils active, that's when you feel problems. So just to go ahead and illustrate my point about bad spark plugs causing harsh shift, I'm going to leave these two coils disconnected and we'll take it for another ride. Okay, so here we are idling with two of the six coils disconnected. The idle is noticeably lower and rougher, so I'm thinking that even though I felt the uh, original four plugs out of 12 were faulty, um, they might not have been completely dead. They may just have been partly malfunctioning. And of course, by disconnecting the coil, I have completely eliminated the usefulness of those cylinders. So low to two was good. And the two to three, well, wasn't as harsh as I was expecting. I do have a check engine light on there and that's not surprising given a third of the engine is misfiring right now. Okay, so here we are, We've turned around. And it's, oh, there's that harsh shift. There it was. There's that harsh shift, yeah. It takes a lot longer to shift too. It's uh, holding the RPM much higher before it shifts and that must be a symptom of the check engine. <laughs> you can probably hear my voice shaking a bit. It's car shaking. Yeah, it's not consistent, but it was a harsher shift. So, in summary, when you have a transmission fault, well, what you think is a transmission fault, and I was certain that's what this was, it's worth checking all of your ignition coils and your plugs to make sure that they, in fact, are healthy, because that uh, that appears to be the problem for this engine. It uh, it doesn't seem as dramatic now that I've, uh, you know, simulating the test with the two coils disconnected, and I wonder if it's because the intermittent firing of those plugs, the way it was when I got the car, was uh, actually kind of more aggravating for this con this symptom of the hair shift than no pl no activity with those plugs, which is what I've simulated right now. But um, anyway, the car works like a top.